the Frenchman to talk. It's time with time. I don't know. I don't know. He's got the ladies, the queens. Oh, Nick Schumann makes that call Whoa. for another 1.3 million. I'm surprised. He's shaking his head now. I shouldn't have called that. You see our chip leader, Mad Marvin Redmire, with 6.3 million in chips. Nick Schumann in second place. That's what they're playing for. The winner tonight taking home about 1.2 million and getting his name engraved on the coveted WPT Champions Cup. All right, and he's at 10,000. Blinds are 40 and 80,000. Let's go to the grinder. A quick fold by him. And now the chip leader from Germany, Marvin Rettenmeyer, has a pair of deuces. And he's getting out raising chips. He's got that scarf like he's watched too many holiday movies. And he's going to raise. Makes it 165,000 to go. But look at the Steve behind him with a pair of aces. Owen. The Irishman goes all in with the weapons of mass destruction. Well, Steve O'Dwyer, tough pro. Ran really good the last year or so. Graduated from East Carolina, now lives in Dublin, Ireland. Got Irish citizenship. Tearing up the European circuit. Right now, he's got two aces and is hoping somebody comes in the pot. No one so far. Marvin thinking this out. He's got deuces. Usually, you don't want to call off with a little pair. He doesn't want to give another 855 down to this tough player, Steve O'Dwyer. Oh, that's right. Steve O'Dwyer going to win the pot for the Irishman. Oh, he got a little lucky charms oh. there. <laughs> he rakes in the chips. Quite an international table we've got here tonight. The Frenchman, the German. O'Dwyer now living in Dublin, Ireland. Right now, it's on the Parisian Philippe Cartorza. Yeah, he's the lone amateur at this table, fighting it out against four really tough pro players. Well, Couturza has folded, and now the grinder with the pair of deuces. Gonna raise to 200,000 to go. Into Mad Marvin. He has a nothing hand, 8-3, ejects that. And now Steve O'Dwyer, also folding. Is, start now it's on Nick Schulman, and look at this, he's got a mid-pair, pair of sevens. Nick Schulman, phenomenal poker player. A good all-around player, plays all games extremely well and has been very successful in the highest stakes cash games. Won a WPT event when he was 21 years old. He was the youngest player ever at that time to win one. And he's just gonna call this, Mike. Wow, a deuce just like that, three of a kind for the grinder. King a deuce, a dream flop for the grinder. Schumann gonna check here. Oh, it's so great when you have a little pair and you flop a set. And the grinder reaching for chips. Yep, he's going to stick out a bet of 120,000. Well, Nick's got to figure out now, does he really have a hand or is he just making the normal continuation bet here with something like ace-10, ace-jack? Nick's got the mid-pair, but the grinder with a set. Well, mid-pair is the toughest hand to play in no limit hold'em. Well, here's gonna, the reason why. What do you do now? He's going to donate a little bit, go into the turn, jack of hearts. No help for Nick. Nick will check again. The grinder now, 31 years old. A big opportunity here. Do you chase him away with a bet? Four ten. Well, he bets four ten, and Nick runs away. Smartly done. The grinder. Going for his third WPT title tonight. That would time with Carlos Mortensen and Gus Hansen as the winningest player in WPT history. Which poker site do you think runs the most cash games? Poker Stars? GG Poker? Nope. It's actually WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With over 10,000 daily active cash game players, WPT Global is the premier site for real money cash games. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT37 and we'll match your first deposit, dollar for dollar. Reveal for the game and his success over the last five, six years has been incredible. Well, look at this. Picking up a pair of tens right now. Makes it 200,000. Oh, Marvin's got a big hand here. Ace, king of diamonds. You know, it's a premium hand, no doubt about it, especially against a player like the grinder who could have anything. Marvin with big slick. Gonna pop it up. Goes to 485. Now look at this, the Irishman. Has an ace king as well, not suited, of course. Well, O'Dwyer's on the short stack here. I just want to Come go on. ahead and make a stand. Whoa. And he's moving all in here. Yes, he is going to push it with the ace king. And look at this, the grinder. He's going back over the top with the tens. He's going all in also. Yeah. 
And now Mad Marvin, what's he gonna do? He has a big decision now. Well, just incredible. The action in this pot, certainly a key moment in this tournament. Now it's on Marvin, ace king of diamonds, two guys back over the top, all in, all in. Well, obviously, as one both players average. well covered for a gamble here and win a monster pot. Now they call him mad, Marvin. For nine. Will he play insanely here? Uh, it appears like he will. He is making the call. So Steve O'Dwyer, the American that went to Ireland, he needs a little luck right here. Otherwise, he'll be out of this tournament. He needs a lot of luck to win this pot. He's going to have to make a flush to win it. Very unlikely. And it's a dream scenario for the grinder, as both opponents have the same hand. And Ace King. And because of that, the grinder about a 60% favorite to win this pot. Oh, I can see diamonds everywhere. Oh, my God. Everybody on their feet here. What a moment this is in the Season 10 WPT World Championship. And here comes the flop. It's come Jack, 9-3. So far, so good for the grinder. Yeah, pretty safe for Michael Mizraki, the grinder. He's tens out in front right now. Well, there's his two brothers over there sweating him in. Let's see the turn. Here comes the turn card for spades. The grinder has to dodge one more card, the river card, and ace or a king. If he does so, he just said quick, becomes our chip leader. Well, the grinder could knock out the Irishman. His hand holds up. There's the river card. It's a deuce. The grinder has done it. He has won a monster pot here. Steve O'Dwyer is eliminated in fifth place. We're down to four players. And the grinder going for his third WPT title is in great shape to do it, Vince. Just incredible. But right now, we have to say goodbye to Steve O'Dwyer. Played pretty tight, found an opportunity, didn't work out. He's going to take home 192,000 here at the WPT World Championship. And he's going over to talk to Jess Wellman. Steve, that was a pretty crazy three-way all-in. Grinder calls, when Marvin starts to think, what's going through your head? Don't have ace king. <laughs> Don't have any aces or kings. No, that's about it. Rough to lose to a coin flip, but you have had an amazing nine, ten months of poker. Yeah. What's been going on with your game? Are you changing something, doing something differently? I don't think so. Just uh, running pretty good. Not not as well as I would have liked to have run today, but you know. I was gonna say, if recent performance is any indication, you're gonna be back at a final table in no time. Hopefully uh, this summer I'll make a few. Yeah. All right. Congratulations, Steve. All right. As four players remain, the German Mad Marvin out in front with 6.7 million in chips. And the Frenchman, Philippe Cartorza, is now the short stack at the table. First action goes to Marvin as he quickly folds. And Nick Schulman picking up a pair of fives. Yeah, he's now got the speed limit hand. He's going to raise it. 215,000 to go. Philippe going out. Michael the grinder, this time with an ace eight. Grinder likes to see flops. We know that, so he makes the call, and we're going to have a flop. And the flop comes up. Queen eight five. Look at this. A set for Nick Schulman, just like that. Three fives. Grinder's got middle pair with top kicker and checks. Schulman flopping a set. Happy days are here again. He's going to bet him. Not going to play it sneaky. Come right out with a bet of 240,000. You can see the anguish look on the grinder's face. Hard to throw down, middle pair with top kicker, when the guy would make a continuation bet most all the time. So the grinder does make the call. Yeah, investing deeper into trouble. Jack of clubs on the turn. Three clubs out there now. And now the grinder looks like he's going to lead out here. Make what we call a blocking bet here. Yep, 350,000. Possible flush, possible straight out there. Nick does have three fives, obviously going to make the call here, but it does slow him down, as you can see. All right, going to the last card. It's a nine of diamonds. More trouble there, potentially. You know, Grinder did not hit. No, Grinder just got two eights. He knows once he's called on the turn, he's beat. The two eights are no good. And he has checked it, and Shulman now. Well, Shulman just afraid yeah. his opponent could have a straight or a flush and have him beat. 
Didn't think he could get paid off otherwise, and he's probably right about that. Going to take down the pot, though, with the three fives. Yep. Nick Schulman, 27 years old, spends a lot of time in New York, L.A., Las Vegas. He's a business owner. And there you see the Royal Flush Girls Social Bar. You know, there are two of the best poker players in the world sitting there, too. Eugene Ketchaloff, WPT champion, and Vanessa Selbst, who many say is the best woman player in the world, and I say she's one of the top players in the world, man or woman, Vanessa Selbst. Yeah, she is tough. Okay, Andy's are going up to 20,000, blind 60 and 120, and there's a raise by Nick Schumann with ace 10, and now it's on the Frenchman, Philippe, who picks up two queens. No and he's going all in with them like he should. Well, he has gone all in with them. Grinder looks down at an ace deuce. Gets out of their way, as does Marvin. Back on Nick Schulman. Now, you got to think to yourself, wait a second. The Frenchman is tighter than Rosie O'Donnell's dried-up wetsuit. Should I call with his ace-10? Well, I think he'd get away from this hand, Vince. You'd only be in a race if the guy had two nines or two eights. In the other hand, this guy is going to have you beat. This is not the kind of guy going to raise with King, Queen, or King, Jack. No, he has only shown superior cards tonight when he plays. But it is tempting. Get rid of the Frenchman if he should get lucky. Hammer time. It's hammer time. He wants the Frenchman to talk. <laughs> it's hammer time. I don't know. I don't know. He's got the ladies, the queens. Oh, Nick Schumann makes that call Whoa. for another 1.3 million. I'm surprised. He's shaking his head now. I shouldn't have called that. He normally doesn't make those kind of mistakes, but it might not be a mistake. He could end up busting the Frenchman. Let's see what happens. The hammer rail birds loving this moment. The hammer looking to put a bonk in the back of the head of the WPT champion, Nick Schulman. Here, Queens up against Ace 10. Here we go. Oh! Four Queens for the Frenchman. Even Nick Schulman smiling at that. Four of a kind on the flop. Nick Schumann draws completely dead and made an ace high straight, Vince. Nick made the ace high straight. Ran into quad queens. And it's high fives for the Frenchman. Philippe Cartouza going to double up with four queens as he gets the kisses and the spoils. And here comes the hammer. There is the hammer. Oh, the French has been quiet up to that hand, but he is back in a big way. We're coming back in just a moment here on the WPT. Which poker site do you think runs the most cash games? Poker Stars? GG Poker? Nope, it's actually WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With over 10,000 daily active cash game players, WPT Global is the premier site for real money cash games. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT37 and we'll match your first deposit, dollar for dollar. There you see Mad Marvin Redmeyer well out in front with 7.4 million. The other players all have between 2.2 .2 and 2.8 million. All right, four handed poker continues and it's on the man from Paris, France, Philippe Cartorza. He's got King Queen. He's the lone amateur at the table fighting these three tough pros, and I mean tough with a capital T. He makes it 260 into the grinder. Who's going to fold it? Now Mad Marvin with Jack-5 also going away. Nick Schulman now going to pick up a pair of nines. And he's got the mid-pair hand, but he also recognizes he's up against the tightest player at the table. He just got burned a minute ago, remember, with the ace-10. Which I felt was a mistake for him to put another 1.3 million in that pot against this guy. So it's got to be on his mind, but not too much. He's moving all in here. Yeah, he's got to put the pressure on Philippe, a non professional who's only been playing poker for three years, but he's played really well so far, and he gets away from this hand. Yeah, Philippe goes out, so the pool player straight in right there with the all in bet to take it down. There you see Scott Seaver in the house watching this final table. He won this tournament one year ago. Scott, highly educated, well-respected poker player. Only which is he was back here defending his title at this final table. All right, the play goes to Marvin. This time, horrible hand of Jack three, but he doesn't care. He's going to make a 250 to go. Schulman out. And Philippe out, but the grinder, he's what we call a defender. 
He doesn't like to give up his big blind. Here he's got King Jack. Makes the call. Yep, he likes his hand. Gonna see a flop here. He's flopped the ace high straight draw as it comes ace queen nine. Neither player has a pair. Grinder gonna check. Man, and Marvin. Gonna make a continuation bet here, looks like. Indeed he is. Yeah, he is gonna make a bet of 230,000. And the grinder makes the call here. Turn card seven of hearts helps neither player. Grinder will check again. And Mad Marvin checking as well. Seven on the river, pairs the board. Neither player has a pair. Grinder has the best hand, as you can see. 250. And he's gonna bet. I'm not sure if he's betting for value, for a blocking bet. To try to get his opponent off like two threes or two fours, for example. Well, Whatever it is, he takes down the pot. Yeah. What's about the turn? It works out for Michael Mizraki. As Marvin smiles, and puts up the white flag. Actually goes to Mad Marvin, who looks down at a jack ten of clubs. Yes, I was at a special poker tournament in London at the Playboy Club, mm -hmm. and this guy was playing the guitar, serenaded the Playboy bunnies. It was fantastic. That is nice. All right, he likes his hand, makes it 250 to go. Nick out. And now the Frenchman Philippe also going out. It's up to the grinder who has a pair of sixes. And he's just gonna call it. So sixes for the grinder. And Marvin, Jack Ten of Clubs. And the flop comes up Queen 7-3. Four flush for Mad Marvin. Not only a four flush. The kind of hand that you're just not afraid to get your chips in there with. The grinder with the sixes is going to bet 225,000. Yeah, he leads right out and bets into the pre-flop raiser, something you don't see often. And Marvin just calling with the flush draw. That also a little surprising. You'd think he might raise with that hand. Now a nine comes off. <laughs> this gives Mad Marvin an open in straight draw and a flush draw. Yeah, a lot of possibilities, but the grinder still with the sixes. Looks like he's going to stick out another bet. Yes. And lead out yet again. 420. Well, Mad Marvin's got the perfect semi bluff hand, as we say. Open in straight draw and a flush draw, meaning you raise here in this spot and you don't care if you get cold or not normally. I'm all in. And and he's a, done it. He's yep. put the pressure on the grinder right here for all his dough with the flush draw and the straight draw. And this is a disaster for the grinder. You got sixes, you don't even have a club. The guy comes back over the top. That is brutal. And he is squirming in his seat right now. What to do? Well, we saw Grinder lay down two eights a minute ago when he had the best hand against this guy. And just by looking at him, you, think, you just get the feeling he thinks he might have the best hand here with the two sixes. And he does. He does, but what pressure. He's getting yeah. put on him. He can't take that heat. And the Grinder has to fold the sixes. There is Mad Marvin's girlfriend, Leanne, waving the flag, rooting her man on. And Mad Marvin just continuing to increase his chip lead. Yeah, he is plunging ahead, well out in front now. He's stuck to live up to his madman title. Which poker site do you think runs the most cash games? Poker Stars? GG Poker? Nope, it's actually WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With over 10,000 daily active cash game players, WPT Global is the premier site for real money cash games. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT37 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. All right, back to the action at the WPT World Championship. A couple folds and now. It's on Mad Marvin, who has another mid-pair, pair of eights. Yeah, this is the battle of the blinds here. Mad Marvin in the small blind, got the big chip lead, so he's gonna raise it. Yes, he does. He makes it 280 to go. Nick Schulman, though, with an ace five. Well, he knows the big chip lead could be raising with any two cards here. He's picked up an ace high. Uh-oh. And, uh -oh. and uh -oh. even though he's in second chip position, he is going with it. He's moved all in here. Yep. And a snap call by Mad Marvin. And Nick Schulman knows he's in trouble. Just that quickly. 
The guy going for a second WPT title tonight, Nick Schulman, could be out of here in fourth place. So if the two snowmen hold up for Mad Marvin, he'll be a substantial chip leader with three players left. Nick Schulman needs help to stay alive. Nick getting up from the table. Mad Marvin smiling, enjoying this moment. He would love to knock out this WPT champion, Nick Schulman. Here's the flop. King Jack Deuce. This is good for Mad Marvin. He's eight still out in front. Now people at home may be wondering why Nick moved all in there, but he's going to win that 80, 90 percent of the time by moving all in over the top. Well, Nick picks up a five there, pairs the fives on the turn. Most of the time, Mad Marvin not going to have anywhere near a good hand as two eights, but right now must catch an ace or a five to win, or he's out of here in fourth place. Yes, he needs to suck out right here. Can Nick do it? The pool player on the verge of scratching on the eight ball. Here we go, Mike. It's a three. So Nick Schulman not going to get his second WPT title tonight. Goes out in fourth place, back to New York with a fourth place finish. Yeah, he's a great player. Going to take home 256,000. Loves to gamble, but he will not be our WPT champ this year. Right now, he's going over to talk to Jess Wellman. Nick, the turning point for you at this final table seemed to be that hand with Philippe Torza. What made you decide to go with the ace-10 there? I just thought he was uh, maybe a little card dead, getting a little desperate. And I thought I might have him dominated, but, you know, in retrospect, maybe I never do. Uh, it's probably a bad call. I don't know. Other than that, were you happy with how you played tonight? Yeah. I think I played pretty well this, this last hand. Uh, He's opening almost every hand in that spot. You know, I could have called. I mean, it's just sometimes it doesn't go your way. I'm all right with it. Exactly. We've seen you plenty of times before. It was great seeing you back again tonight. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Nick.